A nice new enhancement to the calculation and rendering technology has been added to AGI 32 version 2.33. While the second decimal place in the release number is usually a maintenance release, we wanted to push this enhancement out to you now rather than wait for the next major release of AGI 32, which is likely 2.4. The new feature is image preserving interior glass, which allows for a more accurate transfer of both direct sunlight and direct electric light through an interior glass curtain wall. Let's see how this works. To begin, I'll create a simple space in the just superseded AGI 32 2.32. Make the wall height 10 feet, and we'll go ahead and make this easy by setting the snap at 5 and enabling ortho and we'll make a 30 foot by 20 foot room. Now let's copy that room and just set the copy right on top. So essentially now we have two spaces or two rooms facing one another. Now we can use surface edit to set the properties of the wall that divides the two rooms. In the first room, let's remove that surface. Now in the second room, let's set that surface to glass. Let's change the color to something slightly blue. Okay, now let's cut two skylights into the lower room. We'll make them big, and we'll use AGI 32's automatic insertion of glass. One skylight done. Knock the other one out, and there we have two skylights. How about some calculation points on the floor? So we only place calculation points in the upper room because the plan is to place the sun on the south side in the winter, northern hemisphere, so that we have solar penetration through the interior curtain wall. So let's go to render mode. And let's enable daylighting. We'll leave it at clear sky, Littleton, Colorado, true north being 90 degrees. So sun is on the south side here. and Let's wind the date back to January 15th and let's make it 2 p.m. Now let's enter the adaptive subdivision dialog and let's go ahead and set adaptive subdivision to high. You should always do this with direct sunlight penetration. Now we'll compute. Well, it's pretty easy to see that the sunlight through the glass is completely diffused. In AGI 32 2.32 and previous versions, solar transmission through interior curtain wall is always diffuse. Okay, so let's take a look at the calculated values. Back to model mode. Let's zoom in. Obviously very diffuse. We have nothing over oh, 135 foot candles or so. All right, so let's save this file and go look at it in new version 2.33. Okay, so here we have the file open in version 2.33. Let's go to render mode and let's go ahead and recalculate this file. Wow, look at that solar hotspot right there on the floor. Look at this here on the wall. This is all new with AGI 32 2.33. You now have the ability to consider direct solar penetration through secondary or interior glass. Let's look at the calculated values. Let's just turn on model overlay, go back to plan view, and zoom in. 
we're picking up that hot spot now so now you see you have a much more accurate solution as another improvement attached to this technology you'll notice that the solar hotspots are very clean now let's take a look at another example compare this version in 2.32 with that in 2.33 the same technology observed in our examples so far applies to electric lighting as well. In the past, version 2.32 and prior, electric light was passed through glass as lumbertian or diffuse. So here we are back in the 2.32 model. Let's go and define a down light very quickly. And let's go ahead and just place a couple of them close to the wall and close to the glass. Let's go into render mode. Let's turn off daylighting. And let's go ahead and recompute. Well here we can see there's a very well defined scallop on the side of the downlight, yet on the other side it's very difficult to discern what's really happening. There's quite a bit of light on the ceiling. What's really going on here is diffuse or Lambertian transmission through this glass surface and that's the patch emitting most of the accumulated light onto the other side. So clearly that's not accurate. Well, Let's go back and save this file and return to version 2.33. With the file open in 2.33, let's go back to render mode and let's recompute. You can now easily see the effect on both the wall and the floor on the opposite side of the glass. This is a huge difference. Not only are the computed values more accurate, the visualization is as well. So image preserving glass is a very nice enhancement to AGI 32 version 2.33. It allows more accurate consideration of direct sunlight and electric light through interior glass. Registered users of AGI 32 version 2.3 can download 233 now.